Hello, Hikaila from the RuneScape Community Tech Support. Last uh, time we, uh, we left off, we uh, had finished installing the Oracle Java plugin for web browsers. And in this video, I will continue and uh, show you how to fix all the issues with Java 7 while playing on the web browser. The first thing you will notice is that um, uh, is that you are unable to leave safe mode. Uh, if you try to go to software display mode, you, you get RuneScape was unable to enter that display mode. Please visit our website for more information. And the same thing goes for OpenGL, which is actually my fa uh, favorite display mode because it's fast. And my card is built for OpenGL, so it goes even faster. Well, it's a shame to be in safe mode, because it, the maximum FPS you can get there, well, the maximum I have seen is 4 frames per, uh, per second, which is horrible. And uh, safe mode is not actually very pleasing when you get a high-end uh, graphic card. So, let's fix that, shall we? First, go to uh, the website linked in the description. It uh, contains an archive file with uh, a Java wrapper script that I wrote to fix all the issues. So, first, let's download the file. And once it's downloaded, we can uh, go to Files and uh, Downloads. And we open the Java wrapper archive and uh, we drag the Java wrapper to our, our home folder and uh, then we can close our web browser and uh, uh, archive utility and uh, then we open the terminal uh, if uh, you have installed Java system-wide, which I have not, you will uh, have to type in sudo before, uh, the, uh, before the thing I am typing in. So, just keep that in mind. And another thing is, if you use a um, 64-bit operating system and use a 32-bit Java, you will not be able to use uh, software display mode. I'm not sure why, but uh, I just figured I would mention that before I, you end up trying and, and end up in a, a constant Java crash loop, which requires you to actually clear a ca uh, cache and everything. Okay, so back to the terminal, we type in uh, dot slash Java wrapper. And uh, if you want to um, see every uh, comma, uh, every parameter for it, you can type in dash dash help. And uh, it will uh, tell you everything you can do here. But we want uh, to use install, so we type in dash dash install. And we will see that uh, it is now trying to trying to find all Java binaries on the computer, this may take some time. It uh, usually takes about two minutes, so I will uh, skip to the part when it's actually finished scanning, so you don't have to see, uh, look at my dull screen all the time. So I will skip right there now, so be back shortly. Hey and welcome back. Uh, the scan just finished and I actually had more uh, Java binaries than I thought myself. Uh, actually, I have been testing a lot and uh, installed a few Java library, uh, uh, Java binaries, and as you can see, I got ten of them. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, this is the.
binary we are using for the, uh, this video and uh, it is the one I the 32 bit version of Firefox which I'm using in the video or using as the plugin so we will type in the number 4 because that's the number shown here for it and press enter and then the install is done we can uh, then go back to our, our 32 bit browser and start it up and uh, we may get a pleasant surprise so we, we will let runescape load up now and uh, while we are waiting I can tell you that this Java wrapper was designed for RuneScape but it actually works for every Java application that is created. Uh, this means that if you play any other uh, Java based games uh, they will also benefit from this script so that's a good thing to mention. Okay. Uh, if we have noticed that the uh, available graphic options have changed, but I, w I will leave it alone just to show you that it works. So, uh, and if you are on 64 bit, please click leave alone and enter OpenGL mode by yourself so you don't risk crashing from uh, software mode not working. If it's uh, stupid enough to kick you into, into that. Okay, anyway, custom. And uh, since I got a 64-bit uh, version of uh, of uh, my Linux system, and I use a 32-bit Java, I will not show software mode, <laughs> but I will show you OpenGL mode. So there we go. Now we are in OpenGL mode, and I can use the high settings and that's it for this video I hope it helped you and give it a like and subscribe if you want